Hey everybody, Melissa here. So have you ever been in Excel and you have data that's in several columns that you need to combine into one? For example, you have name, address, and phone number in columns B, C, and D, but you need to put them all in column B with name being on the first line, address being on the second line, and phone number being on the last line. Now we can go in, put the information, alt, enter, and it will do it manually that way. However, today we're going to look at some formulas and functions that will allow you to do that automatically and make your life and your job a whole lot easier. I cannot wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. So here we have some data. We have fruit category, quantity, and the set of instructions telling us how many they want in half, quarters, hoes, and where we're shipping them to. Now, before we get started with this, I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of pre-work because this information did not come to me like this. So I'm going to show you how to get it into this format. So this is how the data came to us fruit category, quantity, and then all of our instructions are in one line. Well, that makes it a little bit harder to do what we need to do. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to take this data and put it into three separate columns. So the easiest way to get our data into three separate columns is using text to columns. So what I'm gonna do is select all of our data in column C, so Control Shift down, and then we're going to go to data, and we're gonna to go to text to columns. Now we've got one or two ways we can do this. We can do it if it's delimited by a comma or a space, a semicolon or anything like that. But if you look at our data, we don't have that. So we're gonna do it fixed width. And basically what this means is we're going to tell it where to separate the data. So if we hit next, it's pretty much put a delimiter in each place there's a space. So to remove these, double click on it. So we want 15 slices in half in one column. Then we want 13 sliced in quarters in the next column. 166 whole in the next column. And then we want ship to wherever it's going in the last one. We can do next. And we're going to leave these as general, but you can format them as text, date, or whatever you need to. And now we're going to tell it to finish. And if you look, it has now separated it into our columns, which is what we're going to see back on sheet one. So let's go ahead and hop back over there. So this is what our data looks like after we do our text to columns, or it may come to us looking like this. So now we want to join the data or link the data, combine the data into one column and put each of these on a separate line. So what we're going to do is use the function concat, which is short for concatenate, which actually means to link or join. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have wrap text on, otherwise this is not going to work. So on your home tab, just make sure wrap text is on. And now in our first blank data cell, which in this case is G2, we're going to type in equals concat, and we're going to open parentheses. Now, what we're going to tell it is what is the first thing that we want to see? Well, we want to see apples first. And you don't have to go in this order. You can say, I want to see this one first, or I want to see this one first. But in this case, it's going to be pretty linear. So we're going to tell it apples. Then we're going to do a comma. And the next thing I'm going to enter is C-H-A-R, and I've heard that pronounced chair, car, char. Um, I'm going to call it care, and you may hear me alternate back and forth because it's short for character. And I'm going to open another set of parentheses. It's asking us for a number, and I'm going to tell it 10. Now what care 10 does is it tells Excel to hit that Alt-Enter and take this to another line. We're going to put another comma, and we're going to tell it what we want next. Now I want quantity next, but I just don't want it to be apples to 11, 15, 30. I want to kind of put a delimiter in front of this to make it almost like a bulleted list. Now you can use an asterisk, you can use a circle, you can use whatever you want. I like to use hyphens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a set of quotes, put a hyphen, close the set of quotes, put a comma, and then what do we want to see next? We want to see the quantity. So let's break this down. So basically what we're doing is telling Excel to list A2, 
which is apples on the first line, hit Alt-Enter to start another line, give us a hyphen, and then the quantity, or 211. So let's go ahead, close the parentheses, and hit Enter and see what this looks like. Now you're probably looking at this going, uh oh, it didn't work. What did I do wrong? Nothing. We just need to expand this so that we can see our lines. And there you go, it's done apples hyphen to 11. Now let's go in and let's do a few more. So we're going to put in a comma. Now we're going to go back and do the care 10. You can copy and paste this if you want, but for this, I'm going to go ahead and walk through it so that we have plenty of practice. So let's do the CHAR, care 10, comma. I want the next one to have my hyphen, comma, and we're going to do C2, right? Comma, care 10. We're going to do our hyphen, comma. You'll hear me saying comma a lot because it will scream at you if you don't get that comma. And I don't like to hear Excel scream. <laughs> D2, comma, care 10, comma, our quotes, comma. Our next one is going to be E2, comma, care 10, comma, quotes, comma. <laughs> And our last one, or our last line, is F2. Close it up. Cross your fingers. I hit enter, and it doesn't scream at us. Oh, it didn't scream at us. That's good. So let's go ahead and expand this out. And now you see, if we were reading this, we have apples. There's 211 in quantity they want. They want 15 sliced in half, 30 sliced in quarters, 166 whole, and we're shipping it to the store. How much easier is that to read than these individual columns. Okay, so now if we drag it down, watch what happens. There we go. It's pulling it. So let's just go ahead and pull it everything down. And as you see, it has done it for every single line. Now, a word of caution, if you are going to use this anywhere else, I would highly recommend, and I recommend it anyway, that you go ahead and you select everything. So control shift down and you copy it. And either in the same column, I don't tend to like to overwrite my, my functions that I have in another column, control alt V, do another V so that it picks values and paste special, tell it okay. And now let's just go ahead and format this the same. So I'm just going to get my format painter and pull it down because I didn't format enough over there. And there we go. It's the same. Always use this column that does not have formulas and functions in it because this will not translate correctly if you try to use this one in copy and paste. And that's how you can take data that is across multiple cells in multiple columns, put it into one cell, and make it a delimited list. And there you have it. How cool was that? Now you can tell Alt-Enter to take a hike and have a little bit more automation in your life, which is going to make it a whole lot less stressful and your job a whole lot easier. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for a future tutorial. And be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.